Okay. Did you miss the abdomen scope? No, I didn't even see an abdomen scope. Where are they? Oh yeah. Oh no, nah. I have not seen the abdomen stalk since. Oh, that's so cool. No, I, I didn't see it at all. I was looking at other things. Oh, that's cool. I have not seen an abdomen stalk since Zambia. That was one of the first birds that I saw when I was arriving. We were landing on, an, on our little airstrip near camp, and it was pretty amazing because they were just catching thermals. There were a combination of marabou stalks and then abdomen stalks all flying about, and I'd never seen them before. I think I'd actually called them woolly neck stalks the first time I saw them, and then I was promptly uh, corrected that it is not. Very cool. Nice. Thanks, Brent. We got that one now. <laughs> He's teasing me. Okay, let's carry on though. We'll let Brent tell you all about the abdomen stalk because he's going to sit here. We're going to go look for lions. What about birds, Not the sabi sand. <laughs> okay. Uh, so funny. Right. Okay, we'll carry on. Like I said, we're going to keep looking for cats of sorts, whether they have spots on or just tawny colour. I don't mind, maybe even some hippos. Brent is sitting with the birds in the marsh. We just saw him. Let's jump on board with him. Hello. So it is an abdomen stalk, but it's a juvenile abdomen stalk. Um, the reason it's not an African black stalk is there's a couple of reasons. You see how far the white goes around the shoulder. And uh, and also there's a tiny patch of blue and red on the on on the base of its bill and also the shape of the bill the african black stork has a very upturned bill whereas the adam stork has quite a straight downward facing bill so that's one of the ways to tell the difference african black stalks also quite a bit bigger uh, it is unusual to see one by themselves as taylor was seeing normally you see them in the massive flocks um uh, catching thermals oh there we go and there's the noisy yeast just to the making lots of noise and of course, there's a hardy dar in the background, just to add uh, add them to our list. And uh, I'm not even going to go and look at at the crowned cranes in the distance because I think I'm going to find crowned cranes much closer to the car. But it sounds like the doggies are about to disappear, so let's go back to good old Uncle Trist. 